What's up everybody? On this video I want to show you how to not only install the 737-800 Zebo mod, but I'm also going to show you how to install the 737-700 Ultimate and the 737-900 Ultimate. So you're going to come to uh, xplane.org, the forums here, and I'll have the link in the description and the comment section. You just click that, it'll take you to this forum post here. And we're going to scroll down till we see Link Zebo Mod Boeing 737-800X. And you just click this link and it's going to take you to a Google Drive folder structure. And if you're doing this for the first time, you always want to look for the fold.zip file. It's usually at the top here. You're going to click that one. These other files are just older versions if you're doing an update. So we're going to click download. And if for whatever reason it says the download limit has exceeded, you're just going to click make a copy. And what making a copy will do is it's going to put a copy on your personal Google Drive and then you will download it from there. So you'll see in the lower left here, it'll sh say show file location. You click that and then that's where you can get the file from. So once we have the 737-800 downloaded, uh, if that's all you intend to install, you can just stop here and move forward. Uh, but we're also going to get the 737-700 Ultimate. So we're going to click Ultimate and you see here the B737U, we'll click that. And again, we're going to download the full.zip file. And if the same thing happens again, you can do the make a copy to get it downloaded. Now once we have that downloaded, we're also going to come over to the ultimate, the 737-900. And we're going to get uh, part number 18 here. This is the most current one. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, it's whatever is going to be at the bottom of this list uh, will be the newest one. So you're going to have to look at the dates there. Uh, but that's just a piece to update it. What we want is this uh, other forum post for with Threshold. This is where you get the full 739. And um, we're just going to download this. It'll take a moment, then it'll give you the Google Drive link. You download this, and uh, that other piece we just downloaded will come into play later. So you're just going to wait, and it should pop up. And then you're just going to click download. Now, once you're done, you should have all that. You should have the 737-800, the 737-700 Ultimate, the 900 Ultimate, and then the extra little Ultimate piece for the 739 that we just downloaded. So to start this whole process, we're going to right click on the zip file, and we're going to click Open With, and then Windows Explorer. And this will bring the uh, Explorer window up. And you'll just see the folder here. When you open it up, this has all the pieces for the Zebo mod. And so we're just going to copy the folder itself. And then we're going to go over to the Xplane 11 directory. I'm using the Steam version. So if you're using uh, the regular Windows version for, uh, uh, you know, the disk version or, uh, you know, it's the regular one. Just go. To, it's going to be on the C drive under Program Files. You'll find it in there. But... Uh, just go to the X-Plane directory and then go over to the aircraft folder. And we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it Zebo Mod. And in here, we'll keep all the different planes. So we're just going to paste the 737-800 in here. And we'll wait for it to finish copying over. And there we have it. If all you intend to fly is the 737-800, you are uh, pretty much done. There's a couple of optional things you're, you might want to do at the end of the video, but you're pretty much ready to fly. Uh, so next, we're going to come over to the 737-700, and we're going to do the same thing. Same thing, it's got the, the files inside the folder. We're just going to copy that entire folder, and we're going to paste it in here. And this is pretty much all there is to it with installing aircraft on... X-Plane 11 for the most part. All right, and once the 737-700 has finished copying, we're going to come over to the 900 and open with the Windows Explorer. And they did not put a directory here, so all the files are just in this folder. So you're going to make your own 737-900. So we'll just copy all these files, then we'll come over to our uh, Zebo mod folder, and we'll just make a, a 737-900 Ultimate folder. And then within that folder, we'll paste all those files. Again, you're going to wait for all that to copy in there. And once that is finished copying over, 
we'll go one folder out and now you should have all three in the Zebo mod folder. So the last thing we're going to do, um, so also what I want to do is just rename the 800. I just want to take the B off there to have some continuity and that looks better. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to come to the 900 again and we're going to download, we're going to open up that first piece that we downloaded in the original Google Drive. And we're going to copy all these files. And this is just to make sure everything is updated in the full version that we just downloaded. So these are the pieces that uh, will make up the update and just make it, make sure we're running the current version. We're going to click replace and let all those copy over. And that's it. We are pretty much almost ready to fly. There is just, you should have all three here. And there's just one more thing we need to do. We're going to go back to that original explain.org forum post. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see here that they recommend that we install the terrain radar and the AV tab by Folco. So we're going to click that. And we'll just download this file. This is going to make it so you can have some nice terrain radar on your 737. Uh, on all the 737s. And then the AV tab. This has to do with the tablet uh, allowing you to view maps and charts. Uh, you know, if you're using Navigraph and, and, uh, and stuff like that. So to install those, first we'll grab the terrain radar. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to view it in the Windows Explorer. We'll copy the terrain radar. And we're going to go out one folder, another folder, and we're going to go to resources. And in resources, you're going to see plugins. And we're just going to paste it in here. I already have one. I think I have an older version, so we're going to delete that. Um, but in your case, you'll probably just be adding it to there for the first time. And this is how you install any plugin with uh, pretty much with X-Plane 11. You're just going to paste it in this plugins folder. Installing things in X-Plane 11 is some of the most easiest installation I, I've seen. Uh, you just copy and paste folders. Same thing with the AV tab or AVI tab. We're just going to paste that in there. And now we have uh, the folders in there. So everything is ready to go for the Zebo mods. Once again, go to the aircraft folder, Zebo mod, and we should have all three in here. So if you want to install liveries, you'll see the liveries folder, and I have a couple that I want to add from a, a previous uh, folder I had. So we're just going to copy these and paste them on in here. And there we go. That's how you also add liveries to uh, the specific 737 that you're installing or that you're, you're wanting to uh, add a livery to. So let's hop in X-Plane 11. You should now see all of them in here. We have the 737-700 Ultimate with the various liveries that come with it. Switch it on over to my personal favorite, the Southwest. It'll be come out uh, and you'll see the uh, 800. Make sure you're not using the 737-800. Make sure the X is on the end of it. The other 800 is the original that comes with X-Plane 11, and you don't want that. So make sure it's got the X. That'll let you know it's the Zebo mod. We'll switch that over to the Southwest as well. And then the Ultimate is, it's got a completely different icon here. And, you know, you also have the 4K versions of, of these aircraft if you want to use those, but uh, we're just going to use the regular. And we'll select uh, United. These all have icons like that. Uh, but that's what it looks like. You should see all these there now, and you should now have the full suite of the Zebo mod. So, all right, everybody, hope this was helpful to you. You guys have fun out there. I'll see you on the next video.